Hey there, this is Michael Pollack with MichaelDPollack.com, and I'm going to take a few minutes here and talk about WP Prosperity, the premium WordPress theme that I've got available here on MichaelDPollack.com. And what I'm going to talk about today is um, the different homepage layouts that are available with the theme. And there are several homepage layouts, including this example, and this is wp-prosperity.com that you're looking at right now. This is the, the demo site for WP Prosperity, which is just an example of the type of site you might be you would be able to create with uh, with the theme. And this is a particular page template that I'm using called the wide page page template. And let's go over to the blog for a second. And if you come to this particular site, and again, it's wp-prosperity.com. Um, if you come to this blog page, you'll see on the navigation bar here a, a link that, that says Home Options. And if you hover over that, you'll see all these different, um, different layout options that are available. And any one of these layouts can be used on your home page, as well as um, other pages, other WordPress pages that aren't necessarily um, your home page. Um, so if you come to the site, you can see the different layouts that are available there. Let's see, there's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's, there's at least 13 uh, different home page layouts that are available with the theme. So let's go to the development site that I have set up. And this is a generic sort of um, when you first install WP Prosperity, this is kind of like the blank slate kind of layout that you'll have. Standard uh, two column blog layout with uh, featured images or, or larger thumbnails on the left here. And it's really easy to change this, uh, this home page layout. So let's go into the theme settings page and this is the theme settings page built into WP Prosperity. And what we want to do is come down to this post settings area here. And there's some general post settings. You can turn off the f uh, post format icons and things like that. But let's go down to this post layout section and let's just look at the home page uh, post layout. There are several uh, options built in or available, and it's really e easy to change this home page layout. So currently it's set at a standard uh, blog, one column. If you wanted to do a two column, you could just change it, um, save your settings, and that will sort of instantly change. Maybe my settings haven't saved yet. Hang on, let's try that again. That will instantly change the home page layout to this two column, uh, two column layout. And then you also have, um, you know, masonry or a Pinterest uh, style layout, and you have posts that are grouped by category. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if you're you've, if you've selected post group by category. There are two options, side by side or stacked. And let's just select some categories here. Um, and then we can at least see what the um, what the layout looks like. So that's, that's four. Let's go ahead and save that. And again, if you go to wp-prosperity.com, you can see all these layouts um, for yourself on this on the demo site. So this is the the post group by category. Um, you've also got a sort of a stacked layout. They originally are um, in a side by side kind of configuration. They can also be, you can have the category group stacked on top of each other like this. So it's really easy to change the, the home page layout via the theme settings page. Now you can also change not only your um, your home page layout, but you can also change your archive page layout. So your archive pages in WordPress would be like your category archives, um, your author archives, um, things of that nature, date-based archives. So let's just go to like an archive, uh, I'm sorry, an author uh, archive page. 
and again we've got the standard sort of standard blog one column you could change that to a two column if you prefer via the theme settings page like that and, and, and so you'd get that same layout like with category archives this is a, um, a category archive page and so the only difference with the category archive pages is, is you can't do um, the post group by category because an archive, you know, a category page is already <laughs> already grouped by category. So that's one way that you can, um, you know, change uh, a particular blog post layout or or post layout. Now you can also go into your pages. You can create a new page, and let's say you wanted to create a specific page for I don't know. I'll just use an example. This is my uh, my articles uh, category, and again, that's just kind of like a, a a demo category. But let's say that we want to have this be a, a different layout from the other category archives. We can create a page, and let's just create the uh, click the add new page here, and we'll just call this articles. What you can do is use a page template. And if you come down when you're creating your page, if you look at this page attributes box here, you can select a specific page template. And let's say you want your articles page to be, um, I don't know, let, let's just pick a masonry, uh, a two column masonry layout. You can set the layout like that. So we'll go ahead and publish that. Let's take a look at this page. I forgot to do one very important thing here. We want to tell, we want to use our category selector here, and we want to select the articles category, and that should give us only articles. Or only posts in the articles category, and you can you can turn off this little selector button here. Um, that's for the masonry uh, layout that you don't have to have. In fact, let's go ahead and just turn that off. Oh, that site's running a little bit slow, so. And so essentially what you can do, you've got all these different um, page templates that are available with the theme. Um, you've got all the blog layouts, one through four columns. You've got masonry layouts, two, three, and four column, and then the posts group by category. So you can create a specific page and um, put a collection of posts on here for specific categories. Uh, let's see, let's go articles, blog design, and we'll just use these four categories. So now we have this um, post group by category setting on this particular page. Now we've also got um, this wide page template that I'm using on the demo site. And this, this particular page template works with short codes that are built into the theme. And I haven't done a video yet on short codes, but if you go to the demo site, you can see the different short codes are available that are available with the theme. But essentially this entire page is created uh, with short codes which are just little blocks of code that, that help you put content on a page and it gives you a lot of flexibility. And then there's also a widgetized uh, page. It, again, if you go to the demo site, you can see that from the drop down. And this is sort of like the wide page page template. The difference is these, this, all these areas are widgetized areas, so they're essentially just a drag and drop 
um, just like any other widget that you'd use on the site or on a WordPress site. So those are the different page, uh, I'm sorry, home page or, or, or post layout options that are available. Um, and again, you can change them very easily. You can change the home page settings very easily via this post settings tab on the on the WP Prosperity theme settings page. And then you can also do individual pages um, you know, via the post options that are available as well as the page templates. So I hope I didn't completely muddy the waters on that. I kind of stumbled through and I apologize for that. If you have any questions, please visit michaeldpollock.com. Um, hit the contact link and I'll be happy to clear anything up if, if I have muddied the waters for you. But there are a lot of, a lot of layout options available on this theme um, that aren't always um, apparent when you go through the demo site unless you go through it pretty thoroughly. So I think that's enough for now. Again, visit michaeldpollock.com if you have any questions about WP Prosperity, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.